Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam M coming back to you once again. And this time, we're going to go over to BET. And this is an update to uh, Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker. Uh, seems that his numbers, he plummets in polls amidst abortion allegations. It's been a rough week for the uh, NFL player. Okay. And, um, yeah. Basically, this is what's going on. It says polls in Georgia U.S. Senate race have been nearly neck and neck for Herschel and current Senator Raphael Warnick. However, at the weeks of bad press, Walker, who Trump endorses, has plummeted in recent polls. An A-rate poll survey U.S. has Warnock with a whopping 12% lead. 50% to 38% according to 11 Live, 1,076 likely November voters were polled for September 30th through October 4th. 95% of the polling was done before the Daily Beast reported that Walker allegedly paid for an abortion in 2009. Walker has denied the allegations and has threatened to sue the Daily Beast. Walker's 23-year-old son, Christian Walker, has also came out on social media in the last couple of days and spoke out against his father. Christian, a conservative social media personality, wrote in a tweet, I know my mom and I would really appreciate if my father, Herschel Walker, stopped lying and making a mockery of us. You're not a family man. When you left us to bang a bunch of women, threatened to kill us, and had us moved over six times in six months, running from your violence. In a four-minute video, he also blasted his father, saying, in part, I stayed silent as the atrocities against my mother were downplayed. I stayed silent when I came out of that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. And you know, my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it, if, if it affected me, excuse me. Warnock has not addressed Walker's latest scandals, which, he, which they shouldn't. Um, they are scheduled for debate October the 14th in Savannah, Georgia. And that is the end of the article right there. I just, I mean, uh, as much as I know about Herschel Walker, he was a pretty good uh, football player. And, you know, kudos to him for that. Um, but allegedly, as a, as a man, as a father, uh, you know, he's not so, uh, you know, good in that area. Um, I'm not sure what the details, the in and outs of it. I did post another video uh, when this came out because he was very adamant that he was pro-life. However, uh, with a lot of uh, wealthy individuals, I'll say this, they're always pro-life until they utilize that option for themselves, uh, whether it be, you know, some you know, activities that they have gotten themselves into and they wanted to uh, essentially erase all knowledge of um, what was produced, which is usually a child. And being that, you know, Roe versus Wade was not too recently uh, overturned, um, it's just going to be a really chaotic time in terms of what principles a person stands on and apparently Herschel Walker um, he's all pro-life except for the fact that allegedly uh, he paid one of his former girlfriends to have an abortion uh, which Daily Beast has provided proof um, I did provide that in the other video which I will link um, in this video so you can go check that out for yourself and, um, man, you know, uh, when you run on a campaign, you run on principles and, uh, what he's running on now is not a good look for him.
as the polls have shown, um, he has plummeted uh, quite a bit. And um, abortion is going to be a really hot topic right now. Either you're for or you're not. Um, his stance on it was uh, no exceptions, no excuses, um, period. You know, regardless of what the situation is, which I think is really screwed up. Um, you know, there's certain things that, you know, why force a person to live with trauma, essentially re-traumatizing a person, I'll say that much, uh, from a situation that nine times out of ten they did not ask for and they did not want. Um, but to say that they can't correct that wrong because uh, your pro-life is just hypocritical because most of the people screaming pro-life um the politicians and all the people uh allegedly uh the higher ups um quite a few of them have had their own Herschel Walker moment to say the least but um it is what it is please join me down in the comments section so we can talk about this um this is a really important topic uh, no man or woman or government or state government, local government should tell a woman what to do with her body. Um, if that's the case, uh, what about vasectomies for uh, certain uh, males? Um, I'm totally into that. I mean no disrespect when I say that. However, um, if you're going to essentially have eminent domain over my body and what I choose to do with my body it should be the same on both ends that's how I feel you get what you give so join me in the comment section and let's talk about this and any other any other video that I have on my channel I want to thank you so much for watching my video and with that being said I will get with you guys in the next one